The Cayman Island Society of Professional Accountants, which we refer to as CISPA, has over a thousand members. Um, it was incorporated back in the early 70s, so it's been going around for about 40 years. But it's been run as a volunteer organization um, during that time by committee. The public accountants law came into effect in January 2007. And at that time, uh, CISPA became the regulatory body for the accounting profession, where we began to license our practitioners. So today we have about 73 licensed practitioners, um, at which CISPA does play this very important role as a regulator. So since 2004 until date, for the past 10 years, they have again been, have a membership and licensing committee that has been regulating that particular part of the profession. Back in November 2013, CISPA became a full member of the International Federation of Accountants, or also called IFAC, and that came with it a number of membership obligations, um, which does put the onus on CISPA of, of many reporting obligations as well as um, adhering to ethics, etc. Um, we've also started doing quality reviews of our licensed practitioners. As such, it sort of became a little bit too much uh, to be running this as a complete volunteer organization by committee. So at that stage, it was decided that they would take on a CEO. And, uh, you know, I've been very honored and very proud to be CISPA's first CEO. Currently, CISPA is working on a five-year strategic plan, which will also fit into what IFAC's um, strategic plan is. And we're also going out and meeting with many, uh, many of our member institutes, such as the ICAW, which is the Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales, ICAS, which is the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Scotland, um, ACCA, and other bodies um, such as that. So we're relationship building, but also at the same time, our membership is extremely important to us. So we've got to work very, very hard on developing our membership and really building that value proposition for them. Uh, some of the immediate objectives that I am going to be working on in going forward are the key strategic objectives for CISPA going over for the, first five, for, for the next five years. From that will evolve the operational plan. Um, we will build that, we'll implement that, but a big part of that is CISPA's um, longer term role in building relationships with um, other institutes um, across the globe, really, not just in this region, but also um, the institutes um, in England, the institutes in the United States and Canada, um, and other offshore jurisdictions. Uh, one of the other uh, things that we need to do as a, one of the regulators in the island is we're going to work very closely with the new Auditor's Oversight Authority um, and help them in their inspections, um, you know, when they come to, to start to do that. Very, very important for us, um, especially with our fund industry um, here in Cayman. We'll also work closely with SEMA, we'll work closely with Cayman Finance, and also um, government officials. CISPA has close to a thousand members now. We are the um, largest uh, association on the island, so our members are very, very important to us. We're going to be working over the next couple of years to build on that membership value, to make sure that we want people, no matter whether they're in the financial services industry, whether they're in the tourism industry, they're in retail, um, real estate, anything, there are accountants all over the place. And you know, they don't necessarily need to be in financial services. We want them all to join member, uh, we want them all to join CISPO, we want them all to be very proud to be CISPO members. So we're looking forward to that development. Um, and we would encourage anybody to sort of contact me and uh, get to know, you know what we're doing and to help us build that value proposition. Uh, CISPA's challenges are really the, the quick pace of change that is happening in the global environment in terms of regulation, in terms of new papers. Um, we are going to be very, very active in participating in consultation documents with both our local government and with IFAC and other um, institutes globally. I believe in the ongoing development of CISPA, we need to be very uh, close partners with the media. We need to be close partners with government. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this challenge and working with CISPA and taking it really to the next level. It's at, in an evolutionary stage and uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, one of CISPA's um, objectives and passions and strategies in going forward is to encourage a lot more young Caymanians to go into the accounting profession. And I think what's really, really interesting in that is that um, accountants 
work in any single industry and you don't just have to become a qualified. You can go out and work in real estate. Um, many of the accountants that came to Cayman in the early days ended up managing banks, they ended up managing real estate firms, they ended up managing insurance companies. So it's a, it's a profession that you can actually fit in anywhere and we would really like to encourage young Caymanians to enter the profession. Um, we will provide support. We have a, a student membership category. So we would really like to encourage them to come forward and, and hopefully one day we'll be able to see that CISPA can help and partner um, with another offshore institute that we can eventually provide qualification locally without them having to go and spend five years abroad um, in order to get their um, qualifications. Um, CISPA is actually very community minded and our membership are very community minded and it's actually really, really interesting. We've got a great training committee and a great social committee and our social committee met yesterday uh, where they've actually been discussing events that they're going to have this year. So it's very exciting. They're going to have a 5k run coming up towards the end of August, which will be the first run of the season. But what's important to our CISPA members is all of the proceeds from the entrance fees for that run that go to the Red Cross this year. Um, there will also be another golf tournament towards the end of the year um, where the charity will be named at that time. Um, this was partnered with the Ministry of Education in their numeracy program and we provide um, not just monetary assistance for the mathematics program but we also provide about 80 volunteers every year who go into the primary schools um, to assist with um, mathematics um, and to assist with this program that they put forward. And uh, this has been going on for a couple of years now, and we've seen results coming out of the Ministry of Education, but this really has made a difference uh, to the young people. So we're very, very proud of our CISPA members and the volunteerism that they do provide to the community.